Hello everyone, I'm Rainy and I'm here with Juliana, um, a local artist and author of um, her book. <laughs> um, it is a coloring book and meditation journal. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna ask her a few questions about her work. Um, so I guess first off, what kind of created, or what inspired you to create this book? Um, so I had been collecting a lot of these drawings for a really long time uh, in just a sketchbook and I had always for the last like few years wanted to make a coloring book out of it um, and so I started to kind of just work on uh, making the drawings into digital renders so that I could use them to be printed um, and I with the help of my husband had like the idea of it not just being a coloring book but sort of like a meditative guide um, something that would be informative to help you learn about yourself and create new habits and rituals um, as well as kind of inspire you on intentions and affirmations and things like that. Awesome. And yeah, what is like your favorite part of the book and like oh my gosh. really like connects you the most to yourself? Um, I feel like I love coloring. Um, so obviously the coloring pages are really fun for me. I also love that it's free for you to interpret how you want. Um, it's sort of like a blank slate with an outline and just kind of allows you to let your freedom of creativity just like flow. Um, but the journal prompts, I always feel like sometimes I come to my journal and I don't really know what I wanna write or I'm kind of like ready to um, put out something from my heart, but I don't know uh, what it's gonna be. And so these are really cool mm -hmm. to like inspire you on maybe a certain mood that you might be feeling to answer a question. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then when I was browsing it, um, I noticed that like you were writing about how color inspires you and like how yeah. what can you go more into that like about color and like what coloring and the For world sure. of color means. Um, yeah, well, color. Uh, there's a lot of science behind color, I guess, but it's really cool that each color I feel like has a different energy that makes you feel. Mm -hmm. um, they also have like different uh, meanings and. Uh, energetic purposes that they all have so like green is much more grounding and calming and yellow is uplifting and like vibrant um and so yeah you just kind of maybe go by color and like i'm very much like one color palette not today but mm -hmm. normally i'm like one color palette like yeah, green, green like a green vibe you know yeah. um so maybe that would be fun to kind of like do like a mono palette of greens mm -hmm. or whatever and then um yeah, explore different ways that you can kind of blend colors together and uh, just see how they make you feel and how working with different colors mm -hmm. create different moods depending yeah. on what you're using. Yeah, Actually, that's so cool. And yeah. maybe we can show the a few cool pages that you oh, really love. Yeah. You choose. Okay. Um, <laughs> you choose. I've seen still, all the pages. <laughs> a little close up. Maybe. Do any of the images like correlate to like the prompts? Like how did you select which went to where? Um, that's a good question. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't random, but yeah. I don't know that it was like super intentional that it mm -hmm. went with something that it, you know, that was written. Um, there's one page where there's a spread of the sun and a willow tree. So that was oh, kind of intentional mm -hmm. just cause it was like kind of earth. So, yeah, there. Oh, there is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's, pretty it's hard when you have a double spread because you want the two images to kind of like yeah. uh, complement each other. So I feel like that was a good combination. Um, but a lot of my drawings are like mandala-like, but at the same time, uh, really close up as if you were to look at the cell of a plant and kind of pull inspiration from nature and like what that looks like, the DNA um, mm -hmm. kind of image. That's so cool. Yeah. And then, um, Tell me a little bit about the supporting mental health. Yeah, so book. for each book sold, we support a mental health charity um, to write love on her arms. Uh, they donate and bring awareness to mental health. So that was kind of one of the key factors for um, having a charitable, charitable donation mm -hmm. for, for the book. Yeah. Okay, awesome. yeah. That sounds great. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you. Yay. <laughs>